Hey guys, I figured I'd work on the 5865. When I got it in the fall, it had the snow plow attached to it. And you know, I want to use my power broom on it, but I can't get the quick hitch off the horn. So I ended up taking the plow pivot point off. So I have just this little frame attached now, but the thing is totally rusted onto the horn. I figured, well, maybe I gotta unhook this whole quick hitch assembly off the machine here. And maybe I'll bring it home and put it in the press and press that pin down off the taper. And then probably I'll just clean up the the horn with some sandpaper or something, make it smooth again. But I can't get this thing off and I don't know if this is factory or not, but you look at how this horn is here. It has these big long bolts on the bottom all the way out to the plow frame. I don't really see any point to that. Um, this crap is so rusted. This one was loose, but this bolt is uh, disintegrating pretty good. Even the, the PTO shaft has a lot of rust on it. But I guess I need to use a socket to get these off. For some reason they put these little stubs on here and a wrench won't fit around it, so I'm going to have to use a socket. I don't have a socket on me right now, so I'm going to have to go home and get some other tools. But So i got to try to get this whole assembly off. I'll put it in my 12-ton Harbor Freight press and see if we can pop that pin out the back. And, uh, you know, then maybe I can hook up the power broom and then a 40-inch mower after that. But that's the 5865, which has a lot of rust on it. I know I've showed you guys before, but... I wonder if it was in a flood or something. That's my real wonder here. But started up the other day. It ran perfect. Started on four cranks. Hadn't used it since February. And uh, can't wait to get it going. All right, guys. Well, I got the uh, quick hitch and the plow mount into my press, which is not easy because the quick hitch down here can't rest on the press. So I just rigged all this crap under there, which will hold the... Uh, plow part up here so I can press the the uh, quick hitch down. Now it's kind of rickety and this is really sensitive so I don't know that it's going to work but it's my only choice here. So uh, we'll give it a crank and uh, you know we'll see what happens I guess. the wood crushing. I don't have a good feeling about this. hard to get it square so that you're pressing on it square you know it's bending the crap out of this old hitch here if you're just something I use for a spacer but just bending that up that's all it's doing and get it more like that Lots of wood getting crushed. Crazy. I'm gonna try to hammer on it while it's in the press. It's probably stupid, but. I'm not going to lose.
thing. Not doing a thing. feel safe cranking so that I can hear everything, all the wood, everything getting smashed. Nothing. All right, so much for that idea. 
Now, I was able to unbolt the horn from the quick hatch. So now I'm just working on holding the plow frame in here, which is a lot more of a sturdy uh, connection. I tried hammering the thing out just with a big hammer, and all I was doing is bending the bending the tip here where the hole is in there that the pin goes through. It's just compressing the whole thing. It's not even pushing the pin. So, you know, I'll try this. And if this doesn't work, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, but I'm going to give it one more shot. And I was hoping that once I went like an eighth of an inch that it would just pop out since it's wedge-shaped. I ground down the top there because I, you know, messed it up pretty good hammering on it. So I tried to get a flat surface. And let's see, uh, let's see what happens this time. It's really good run for my money here. Can't tell if it's working or if it's just mushroom in the head. Now I'm pushing on this jack as hard as I can. Dang. It ain't working. She's in there, boys.
press it, the whole thing cocks forward. And I don't have the right angle for how I'm pushing. That's really what my problem is here. pushing it already. I need something under the bottom to keep it from under here to keep it from going. Don't ask me what that would be. They didn't move at all. Not one right over. scientist to figure this crap out. Put two lawnmower blades under the center, which I think are giving it the support to prevent it from pivoting. See what happens.
see. See if it just bends them or what. It's bending them. It's bending them like a pretzel. Bent the blade. Put it upside down and try it again. Damn! So what happens when the blade bends? The whole thing popped off. Man, this thing sucks. We're nowhere. Mushroomed up piece of crap that's stuck in there. We are nowhere. I need to find someone with a really big torch, I think, to heat this thing. I don't know how else to do this. <laughs>